What if I told you a killer, a man who murdered his own parents, buried them in the yard, was able to escape jail and live a normal family life? Well, it has been discovered. DNA evidence has identified this individual, put him up. This is such an insane story, but true. DNA evidence has revealed William Leslie Arnold, AKA John Damon, as a family man in Australia, who was also a teenage killer who escaped a Nebraska jail. I'm gonna give you background to the crime first. William Leslie Arnold was 16 years of age in 1958 when he killed his parents and buried them in the backyard after they refused to let him borrow the family car to take his girl, uh, girlfriend to a drive in movie. Showing of the movie, The Undead. Arnold went about his life in and around Omaha, Nebraska, telling everyone, even family members, that his parents had taken a trip. Two weeks later, he was arrested. He also confessed to the killings, led investigators to the makeshift gravesite. The following year, he was sentenced to two life sentences in Nebraska State Penitentiary. But that's not where it ends. For one, he actually escaped from prison in 1967. And what the prison warden said was one of the cleanest escapes in his experience. And then gone on the run for half a century between his escape with another prisoner, James Harding, using masks used to fool guards who conducted daily head counts at the prison. Immediately after the escape, the pair traveled by bus to Chicago where they split. Harding was captured within a year, but Arnold vanished. He married within three months and became a father moved to Miami and to California, divorced, then moved to New Zealand in 1978. And finally to Australia, this man was going around the whole world where he worked as a salesman. Arnold died actually in 2010, okay? he died in Australia. So let's put up this guy, um, after the case was dormant for decades, all right? In 2020, the case was handed over to Matthew Westover, who was a deputy marshal in Nebraska. The marshal drove five hours to see James Arnold, Arnold's younger brother, who gave a DNA sample that Westover referenced across an ancestral site. Nothing came up for two years until he received an alert of a match and an email from a man in Chicago who said he was looking for his biological father. The man has asked not to be identified, but he told investigators he knew his father as John Damon. And Damon had told him he was an orphan. The man asked who his father was and why he had been to prison. So I had to tell him, Westover said, I told him. Well, he was an orphan, he didn't lie about that, but he killed his parents. That's why he was an orphan. Um, There are some additional details to this, but what strikes me in this entire story about this murderer is how he was able to freely move uh, in significant ways and had major interaction with governmental entities. Uh, He was married, he got a license, he was divorced. He went through the proper channels to do so. He traveled with ID, he traveled not only inside of America, but also internationally, absolutely nada on the radar. This individual is not some kind of clandestine agent for the CIA. Just a, it was just a 16 year old cat who killed his parents, gets sentenced, escapes, and all of a sudden he moves freely and they can't find him. It's a hell of a thing. And you have to imagine at some point somebody just trusted the fact that he looked as if he was trustworthy. All right, Sharon, hell of a story. He got away with it. Bottom line, he got away with it, lived his life, died, he's out of here, won't be held accountable for double murder and burial of his own parents. It's scary, it's eerie, your analysis is spot on. He looked, well, despite the ears, okay? Maybe the ears would be the only thing that would give him away, but he looked like he was just a trustworthy guy. And instead he's a stone cold killer who is well, I wonder what his passport looked like, well traveled. Yeah, Yeah, well traveled.
All right. Hell of a story.